Before I begin, I want to let you guys know, disclaimer, I am not an expert. I am going on my own experience and what has done me in and put me in the hospital. So if there's any information out there that you guys know or anything that did you guys in or whatever, let me know down below. But I'm going off of my experience. No expert. So like you hear, triggers. To a sickle cell crisis, don't pull that trigger. Don't pull that trigger. Don't pull that trigger. Then you'll be stuck in the hospital and for a week and a half or two and, and taken away from your family, sometimes even a month, and start losing it and going crazy. And then back to reality, Gina, back to reality. All right, like I said, triggers to a sickle cell triangle. Triggers to a sickle cell crisis. Here we go. Number one, stress. We cannot avoid stress. We can't avoid stress. So, um, the first time I let stress get to me, but this, I didn't know that I had full-blown suicide. I thought I had trait the whole time. And um, we were going to Haiti to visit my mother-in-law for the first time. Now, I've always went to Haiti as a family vacation every year since I was young. Beautiful, never wanted to come back. But this is the first time I'm going with someone that I've been married to for close to two years only so i'm a <laughs> my thoughts go places sometimes i'm paranoid and you know you hear stories in so many different countries other countries and stuff like that and so i'm over here thinking my husband is gonna plan something he's gonna kill me and he's gonna go home come back here and <laughs> give some bogus story about why i'm dead or just Oh my gosh, I'm going with somebody that I barely know. It's just all this that I ended up in the hospital for a whole week. I had a, like a feeling of a heart attack and we ran to the hospital and that's when I found out that I had sickle cell. But I was so stressed about my daughter. She was one years old and, you know, now I'm going on alone and with my own and stuff. And then that's when my father told me what brought down the stress is he had to bring me back to reality and my faith in Christ. And he um, told me, if you think that you're going to go and, and protect your own child and your own self, then I... I uh, advise you not to go. And this was like three days before we were going. I'm like, bruh, we just bought those tickets. He said, if you don't let go and let God, then you're stuck. He will not protect your kid or you or you guys in your trip because you think that you have no faith that he will do so. So he will back up. That's what brought it down to reality. And because of that... Um, advice we were able to celebrate and have a wonderful time I did end up with a crisis there like I was like paralyzed I couldn't even move and stuff but we got over it the Lord has brought us over it and we had a fun one second caffeine now soda soda coffee anything that has caffeine it will do you in because I think it, it dehydrates you but don't quote me on that I'll look up on some research and get back to you on that one. Third, sugar. Doctor told me that sugar uh, thickens your blood. So as sicklers, our blood is already thick and viscous and sickled. So it's already clogging up the blood vessels. So now I am adding sugar. I love sugar. I love sugar. I am adding sugar so it thickens your blood and it will cause you to have a sickle cell crisis. So if we stay away from the sugar, every time I eat more than like three pieces of candy, I'm done for. My cousin, when she was getting married, she is the only one who caught on to that. I never told anybody about sweets because I have this thing about cake. And my cousin in the lobby of cocktail hour in her reception, she decided to tell everyone, silence everyone, please. Can I have your attention? Do you see this girl right here? No one is allowed to give her cake. I'm like, what? And my mom made that cake too. It's like Publix cake. Anybody who know Publix like cake, let go of Publix cake, man. And she told everyone, because, you know, she'll be in the hospital while you guys are at home, and she'll be away from your family. So if you love her, don't give her any cake. I'm like, you got to be kidding me right now. 
Four. Four. Rain brings the pain. When it rains, before it rains, my husband knew, knows that it's going to rain. My husband knows it's going to rain because we be chilling, right? We be chilling, we be having fun and stuff. And then the next minute I'll be like... <laughs> That's how he know my body's a forecast. <laughs> I will let you know if it's going to be rainy and cloudy out there. Because I'm going to be on the ground. Half passed out. So for some reason, humidity, I heard when people have surgery or back problems or anything, rain does that to them. So it does that. If you like these videos, please comment, 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 subscribe, and share. I am here for you. Let me know what you want to know, what you want to hear, um, what you want to see, because we are here for you to make it together. Warriors!